Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing my quarter four products I've used up for 2015. I will link all of my other videos down below for the other quarters of this year. And I will also link Jen from Glam Mom's channel. Also, this is the collab we do every quarter showing all the products we've used up for that quarter. I got a lot of stuff and I got like nine minutes on my memory card. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not going in any, in any particular order. I use up this soft soap, citrus splash, and berry fusion shower gel. I had like 800 of these, so I do really like this. There's a lot in here. It's 18 fluid ounces, um, so I will recycle that, but I did like it, and I would repurchase. I did use up some, let's get rid of some of these packets. Um, I had two sets of these L'Oreal Total Repair 5 shampoo, conditioner, and deep mask. I really did like the deep mask which looks like this. The full size would look like that. The shampoo and conditioner was just like anything else, but I really did like the deep mask. So that is something that I would contemplate purchasing again. I use up this whitening mask sheet that Jen sent me. And um, this is from Floria Fantoni Moly. And it was fine, it was nice. Um, nothing special, so it's not, you know, nothing special. This cucumber peel off mask from Freeman. I'm not a huge fan of these peel off masks just cause it always gets caught in like my little hairs here. But I do like the way my skin looks and feels after that. I do love the Freeman, excuse me, the Freeman line. And I have like four full size masks, including a peel off mask. I do use these makeup remover facial wipes. These are just from like the Dollar Tree. There's a the blue kind and then the pink kind and I always forget which one I do and don't like. Um, but they're, they're fine, they're nothing special. This is not something that I would recommend just because I've been using the makeup remover cloth from um, Sephora and I really do like that. Um, but yeah, so that's another thing I used. Here's another mask from Freeman. This is the Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask. This was nice. It was nothing amazing. I really expected more just because it was avocado and I know those are like really great. It's really good for your skin. This is from Vivite. It's an, exfoli an exfoliating facial mask cleanser, not facial mask, facial cleanser. Huge size. I've had this for a really long time. This is almost seven ounces and I finally used it up. It's very like that fine microderm abrasion kind of thing. But um, I really did like it. This is super expensive. I got this when I started doing, um, what's it called? The laser hair removal. And this was like the line that they carry. This is not something I would purchase again just because it is so expensive. This is a clarifying cleanser from Murad. It uh, is for acne treatment, and I really like this. I really like the Murad um, products in general. Their face creams are really nice. All oh, their moisturizers are amazing. The cleansers, everything. Two more shower gels. I include these because I had like 20 shower gels and I wanted to get through them. These are from Bath and Body Works. We have the Sheer Cotton and Lemonade, which was really nice, and the Coconut Lime Breeze was amazing, amazing. Have some hair products here. This is from Kenra. It's a color maintenance shampoo. I was using this when I had like purple hair at the beginning of the year and um, stopped using it because I got rid of the purple and I was like, let me just freaking finish it. It's still a shampoo. Really nice. This was like eight bucks or so from Ulta. This is the Wave Curl Styling Spray from Living Proof, which I love. These are pretty expensive. They're like almost 30 bucks, but I get them half price at TJ Maxx and I really like them. And I actually have... This, the Wave Shaping Curl Defining for fine to medium hair. Uh, this is a spritz. So is this, but these are just slightly different, right? Yeah, they're slightly different, but I use both of these up and I really love the Living Proof line. I do have like a, my, like a curly hair routine and the Living Proof is what I've been using. It is pricier, but I would use a leave-in conditioner, gel, mousse never did anything, uh, a volumizer, hairspray spritz. Like I would use like $15 with the products anyway on my hair or I can just buy one product for that, for that amount. So really, really like it. Um, here's just a few other things. I had this little, oh, this wasn't Bosha. This was Eco Tools, a little pumice sponge. You wet it and it's softer and it just helps to scrub. I've had this for a long time and would not throw it away. And I'm like, throw it away, Adrian, just throw it away. So I actually really liked it. The only thing is it, you just like sat it down on something, you know, like there was no, no way to hang it. So I just feel like it accumulated a lot of bacteria. Um, some few things here, Aussie Mega Hairspray. We got this in the last Walmart box um, in the fall and I loved it so much that I went and bought the hairspray again. I forgot how much I love Aussie. However, 
I got the wrong one and it definitely is a little like clingier in my hair, like really sticky. So I'm just gonna set this aside so I can take a picture of it or write the name down so I can buy the correct one next time. This is from Mario Badescu. It's the Hydro Moisturizer with Vitamin C. Love this. When I first started getting into, into skincare about two years ago, uh, the Mario Badescu line is what I got and I highly, highly recommend this line really good for you can get it mariobadescu.com or they sell it at Ulta um here are some masks that I got from BoxyCharm this is a facial mask it's from Mullen and Sparrow adorable little bottle um and it wasn't so I guess it was kind of a mask but it was just like this powder it was really difficult to use I wouldn't recommend this just because it was a powder you would add water the powder would go everywhere um it didn't do like amazing things for my skin either so whatever what are you gonna do Oh, I thought my husband was home. Someone else is blaring their music. This is an Avon Footworks Dual Action Petty Peel. Uh, it was okay. I didn't, I didn't see this doing much, so I wouldn't recommend it. These two hair products I love from L'Oreal. It's the new Oleotherapy Hair Expertise Sulfate Free System. I had the oil infused shampoo and conditioner. More products from the Walmart Beauty Box. Really, really liked this. I'm putting a little extra pile over here of stuff that I want to repurchase. This is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Mask, and I love this. This was one I got a while ago, and it was, um, you know, in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So big old hunk in size. I went through that. Guys, this is my favorite deodorant, Secret Clinical Strength Invisible Solid Completely Clean. I love this deodorant, and I just wanted to share it. I don't know, I just, people, people ask random things, so... This is another product we got in some kind of beauty box, maybe Ipsy. It's from Mark Anthony. It's the Oil of Morocco Argan Oil Hairspray. It's supposed to be like a mega strength extra hold, and it was just fine. I liked. The, I feel like I liked the Argan Oil in it, but as a hairspray, it didn't really do too much. I used these Clearasil Daily Clear Hydro Blast Oil Free Pads. I actually really liked them. Um, and I've been breaking out lately, so, so I'm going to put this over here to remember to repurchase. This is a makeup remover from Moody Sisters. They're an all-natural brand. I did some reviews for them, um, so it's just MoodySistersSkincare.com. I really liked this makeup remover. It was very, very gentle on my eyes, but worked really well. This is the Night Shift Sleeping Mask from Julep. And it's a mask, but it's not one you wash off. You just sleep overnight with it. I love it. I This is my second one, I think. So I loved this. I would repurchase, but I have way, way too many. Now, this is the Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. We got this from Julep a couple months ago when I used the whole thing. I really liked it. Some people complained that it was too harsh. I found it to be almost like the consistency of like an oatmeal mask, and I really, really liked it. And this is the Algenis Complete Eye Renewal Balm, which I also used up. Wasn't a huge fan of that. It was almost like, um, like what is that? I don't know. It was almost like beeswaxy. I don't know. I wasn't a huge fan of that, guys. Now this is the Footworks Lavender Clay Mask from Avon. This was okay. You're supposed to like let it dry, but I would use it in the shower. So I feel like if I use it the right way, I'd probably like it more. But I didn't. Um, this is the Regenerous Luminous Tone Perfecting Moisturizer Cream from Olay. I have like one or two more, one more of these and I've gone through two and I love these. It definitely helped with my like sunspots in the summer. It helped to lighten them and keep them light. I love this. A little pricey for drugstore, but totally effective and worth it. Um, I also use my Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter from Pacifica. <sighs> Most amazing scent ever. Very creamy. It's not oily. This is Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. It's just a smaller size. This I have been using since high school. I wore it on my wedding day. Um, I am, I don't know why I grabbed this perfume, but I'm basically done with this perfume. I'm, I still have a week left in December um, when I'm filming this just because of work, but I will finish this because I've been using it every day. This is the Candy Prada perfume and I love it. My, I believe my sister got this for me um, or gave me a gift card and that's what I got with it from Ulta. But I love this perfume, it's amazing. It's amazing. Some more hair products. Um, I did use this Gorge I'll Make You Look Amazing Daily Spray. It's whatever, <laughs> nothing crazy. There was a, 25, a $20 off coupon, which means this is really expensive. It's over 20 bucks. I don't think it's worth it regardless. Um, this is an Eva NYC Therapy Mask Session therapy session hair mask and I had a few of these at first I wasn't like a huge fan but after using like two or three I actually actually pretty much like this and I know you can get this at Ulta on the drugstore side so that was nice almost done here guys 
where I'm trying to get rid of some of the other stuff so I can look at the tiny bit of makeup that I went through. But um, ah, there's a decent amount of makeup. Okay, so I have this Nug face mask. It's a hydrating one. This is the Camellia seed oil and spirulina extract. I really do like these. They're only like two bucks or something like that, which is actually a lot if you think about it for like something so tiny. I, I guess it's supposed to be like a one use product, but it's a lot of product in here for like my face and I don't have a tiny face. <laughs> so I kind of was like trying to seal this back down and use this a couple times. Um, and then it would get not so nice, but I, I liked it. I did, I did, I, can I stop stuttering? I did use a few of them. So this is a CEO Bigelow daily conditioner. And then this is a Peter Thomas Roth mega rich conditioner this is a mega rich body wash from tina uh from peter thomas roth um, i did use this little shampoo from nature's gate organics fruit blend shampoo these are all just like little samples that i've had they're all fine nothing amazing or bad about any of them but i finally used them all. i've had them forever and then this is a jergens ulta healing intense moisture therapy i think i got this in a walmart beauty box at some point, um, but I used that up. Now on to makeup, not that much, but still a decent amount. So I'll do my lip products. I did go through three lip products. This is the one I was so proud of. I scraped this thing as much as I could. I can't get any more. This is from Buxom in the color Dolly, which I love. It is a little pepperminty, which I know some people don't like. They think it hurts. Um, maybe they have really sensitive lips, so I don't. Um, but I still really, really liked this beautiful color. I kept this in my car. Love it. Freaking love it. Um, oh, here's another one. This is a Smith's Rosebud Solve Lip Balm. I got this at Bath & Body Works a long time ago. This is actually the second one I went through. I went through one earlier this year. So really like that too. Very uh, moisturizing and creamy. I would use that at night. This is from Pop Beauty in the color peony petal we got this in an ipsy bag again this is one that people thought really smelled horrific it did smell a little chemically but my nose is like impaired so i didn't really notice too much but i really did like this color enough that i used that boy bad boy up now this i was super proud of this is from flower beauty this was beautiful it's one of the lip service lip butters in wispy wisteria i mean it is like i can't get any more unless i like dig in but i'm just not about that life guys but this i i mean it goes like all the way down i used this up beautiful wonderful texture very moisturizing the thing that sucks is like this does not secure down so it would be in my purse or in a bag or anywhere and it would just like i hated that but i love this love this product uh these little mascaras are just ones that i must I don't know, where are all my other mascaras? Oh, I haven't like used them up yet, that's why. This is the Butterfly Intenza from L'Oreal. I liked the regular Butterfly mascara better. This has like the two wings where it's just, I don't know, whatever. If you guys know anything about the L'Oreal Butterfly mascara, it just, the bristles were a little bit different and really, really pretty and I loved the look. It was very like full and fluttery and long lashes. And this actually flaked on me. I wasn't a huge, huge fan. And then um, this is the Clinique Bottom Lash. This was a gift forever ago, and I just didn't want to use it up for some reason. And then when I went in, I was like, oh, I think I did kind of use it up because it was kind of drying out. So um, that's another one. I really do like it. Let me just show you. It has a really tiny, tiny um, thing just to like get your lower lashes, which seems like so gimmicky, but I get mascara all over my under eye area trying to, you know, use a regular mascara. Now this is from Buxom and this is the blackest black lash mascara. It doesn't have like any other name. It's like, ugh, jam closed. This was like a honkin' brush. I actually really liked this brush. Um, I really liked this mascara actually. Oh, I think I have to do like a video on these maybe. I don't know if I'm going to. Now I did go through two foundations, finally. This is the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup. I had this in the color 322 Sand Beige. I had two of these, but uh, two different colors. But this is the color I used. Really, really liked this. It did, it, the form, it's very watery. The formula was very weird because it's very liquidy. You could like hear it when you shook the bottle and you'd put it on and then it kind of, 
just went into like a powdery kind of look. It was really nice. I liked that a lot. And then this is from NARS. This is the Sheer Glow Medium 3 in Stromboli. Loved this. I almost decluttered this. I have a declutter coming up that is actually like a month and a half old or something like that because I was going to declutter this and I was like, you know what, guys? I think I'm almost done. I'm just going to finish it. And that did. So really excited about that. That is everything, guys. I think I used up a lot. I know I used up maybe close to four or five hundred dollars worth. I will put it somewhere over here or over here. Um, and I'm not gonna spend that much money on makeup. I'm pretty much done for the year. <laughs> um, and I'm really gonna try and curb my spending in 2016. I did a pretty good job this year. I'll actually also put up the total of what I used up in 2015 and the total of what I purchased in 2015. The good thing too was that I had a lot of gift cards. I had like four gift cards from last Christmas that I was able to use in 2015. So that kind of curbed um, what I was, what it was actually coming out of my pocket a lot also. And um, I'm all about that coupon life. So you gotta, you gotta do it. If you love expensive things, you have to use coupons when you can. But that's it guys. Definitely check out Chen's video. If you were using up products in 2015 that you were really dedicated to, comment down below and let everyone know how you did. Or if you're gonna be doing this next year, I actually have a collab with a whole bunch of ladies and a video should have already gone up. I'll try to remember to link that down below. And uh, we are just really trying to do the same thing basically, go through our products, focus on our stash and not buy as much in 2016. And I am pretty aggressive with what I'm trying to use up. Lots and lots of things. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Happy New Year and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.